Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about separation of mixtures. What does that mean when we say we are going to separate components of the mixture? In chemistry, we have one type of methods we call that separation method. It means we are going to separate components of any mixtures. So this is the one of the commonly used methods we do in the chemistry labs. So to learn these methods, I'm going to have a quick review in this video how to work with these separation methods in very basic and introductory level uh, for our classes. First thing we should know, what type of mixture do we have? Most of the time, we are going to work on solid and liquid or liquid and liquid. One form of mixture is a combination of two solid, two solid components. One of those, if we have iron, we may use a magnet to separate iron particle from any other components. So this method, we call that magnetism and it's going to use only when we have iron particles in the mixture. So as you see here in this slide, in these two figures, so we are going to separate iron particles when we have the, these specific materials in the mixture. If we have only liquid and liquid, only liquid and liquid, so Example for that is a mixture of alcohol and water, all alcoholic, alcoholic beverages. Alcohol and water both are liquid, so we combine them and we are going to separate alcohol from water as well. So this method is based on the boiling point, boiling point of each components. So if you look at this slide, so whenever we have two liquids we may need to set up we need to set up like this apparatus we call that distillation and we are going to add our mixtures here in this part and after turning on the spencer burner so based on the different boiling point we may have a separation why do we have this one? Because assume that we have alcohol and water in the mixture. Boiling point for alcohol, assume that this is the 78 degrees Celsius. This is a one specific alcohol, most commonly used alcohol we use here in the chemistry lab. We call that ethanol. And water boiling point is 100 degrees Celsius. 78, 100. So if I have this mixture here, after boiling, the temperature is going to rise up. Temperature increases. So whenever temperature increases and reach 78 degrees Celsius, alcohols, alcohol molecules, they are going to be boil or evaporate. So they are going to move and escape from this surface. So whenever they escape from the surface, they are going to move to upside. So at this part, we are going to trap them. So here we have a condenser. So we are going to cool them here. So we are going to cool them here. So when they are here, they have 78 degrees Celsius. We are going to cool them. So they are gas here. And whenever we cool them, we call them liquid because we have the lower temperature here. 78 degrees Celsius, we cool them about room temperature, 25 degrees Celsius. Gas is going to convert to liquid. Gas convert to liquid. We call that condensation. Condensation. That is why we call that condenser. So again, when we have 
high temperature here by the our heat source burner benzer burner so when temperature increases we reach one of the boiling point in this scenario 78 degrees celsius so molecules alcohols alcohol molecules can escape from this surface and we trap them here so they are going to be here 78 degrees celsius gas right now we are going to cool them we are going to cool them so the temperature is going to decrease 78 back to the 25 degrees celsius low temperature so gas going to convert to liquid we call that condensation so gases convert to liquid so right now we have liquid and we can collect the liquid here so after 78 degrees celsius there is no alcohols here all alcohols they already move and we come we collect all of them here so right now we have only thing here this is the water and only thing we have here this is alcohol because alcohol they need to be here and water should be here water molecules cannot be here because they need to have temperature about 100 degrees celsius so before the temperature reaches 100 degrees celsius we just need to turn off the burner and we separated these two liquids so whenever we have liquid and liquid we may need to set up distillation apparatus and we are going to separate these two liquids alcohol and water and this example how about if we have solid and liquid if we have solid and liquid solid and liquid example for this one if for example you have sand and water whenever you have solid and liquid we may use this method we call that filtration filtration it means we are going to filtrate solid and liquid so for the filtration we use one type of paper we call that filter paper we call that filter paper so filter paper here so we add our mixture here so filter paper is here filter paper is going to act like a gate it doesn't allow the solid pass through the this funnel and only liquid can pass this here so we are going to keep liquid here we are going to keep solid here so as you see here solid remains on the top liquid it would be collected on the beaker or any other container solid separated from the liquid this method we call that filtration so let me write that one one more time to summarize our separation methods it depends on our mixture if we have liquid and liquid solid and liquid we may use boiling point to separate these two liquids so we work on these physical properties and for solid liquid we work on their solubility and we separate them by the filtration so this method we call that distillation and this method we call that filtration another example i give it you for this video it was whenever we have iron and other solids so at that time we may work on magnetism and we may have the magnet bar to separate iron from the any mixture we do have we do have many other separation methods by 
in general chemistry courses and some introductory level we may need to know only this information thank you for watching this video hope it helps you to understand how to separate some components of a mixture